hi there this is Susie uh, back again with a very short video about pelagoniums that um, get devastated by insects and um, more likely the insect here that I have captured are the caterpillars this time of the year there are just heaps of caterpillars on beautiful leaves on your pelagonium that, that can have a devastating uh, impact um, if there are a lot of caterpillars on them. And I was away for at least a week and coming home, um, I knew there will be a lot of moths hanging around, laying eggs on my beautiful uh, fancy leaf pelagoniums and also other zonals that I have on my property. And I will, normally I come to a lot of caterpillars. Usually when I'm home, I try to take care of them by squashing them at night with my little torch. So I go ahead and, and do that to keep the numbers down. So when I'm not home, of course, the numbers are up to 70% of these sort of caterpillars munching away on, on my um, beautiful uh, pelagoniums. And normally, as I say, the way I control is by squashing them and um, or using eco oil or pest oil uh, on them. But that hasn't had a very good uh, outcome when I use those type of organic homemade remedies. And therefore, when the uh, population increases, uh, of these so-called caterpillars, the villains that live on them, um, I then have to settle for the um, the pesticide, which um, normally I like using the success by Yates. This is the product that I rely on heavily myself because this one will eradicate your um, caterpillars straight away within a day sometimes it may take up to two days but within a day they're all gone they just disappeared and this one thing good about using such products i know a lot of people are more into organic so am i but sometimes there are just so many to control and it becomes uncontrollable and some sometimes you have to rely on insecticides and this is one of the best products that I have used by Yates and it's always been successful for me. You success, you'll be successful. It's simple as that. And I make up to two liters. Sometimes uh, to, today, of course, I'll be doubling it. I'll just make two liters and then two liters again. But two liters per 10 ml. And that's what you need. And you just go around spraying all the leaves as I'm doing here. You just, you know, spray them in and out. Make sure all the leaves get them. And um, hopefully, you know, um, tomorrow when you get out of bed, there'll be none there. And your leaves will then have beautiful, beautiful leaves, uh, not the chewed one. Here, I am going to show you some of these villains that I have captured. And as you can see, there's one over here. This is what they look like. This is my red Pandora. As you can see, they have eaten everything. There was not one flower that I could um, look at in a beautiful form because they actually hide inside these buds, especially the new buds. That's why you can't see them. You, you know, in these buds, they hide in them. And this is what they look like. So I've got one in there that's been munching on that. And there is one just here, whether or not you can see it in the leaf here. I don't know whether it is there, but it was there. Um, anyway, they are as green as these ones here. There's one here. And there is one here. And this is what they do to the leaf. And on the, on the front of the leaf, it looks like this. Little mesh or eaten holes. At the back, that's where they live. They live at the back. And here's some more. There's some more I've collected. There's one here. When they grow a little bit older, they become this color. And they love this one here. This came out of the bud. It's very hard to actually see them, these buggers. They will literally devastate your beautiful 
uh, flowers, uh, the buds especially, they just love these juicy, succulent buds and they will just munch away all the beautiful buds and the flowers and, and they also love the juicy, fresh leaves of your pelagonium. So keep an eye on them it, because there are just so many out there. Um, usually they come out after the rain or, or or nice sort of quiet still days and evenings and they will lay eggs and they seem to just love pelagoniums and geraniums to lay their eggs on. So just be very careful and as I said, use success to control them and a lot of them use parathine that's nothing wrong with using parathine that's a organic matter and it is the old-fashioned plant out of they extract the parathine out of the chrysanthemum so you can actually use them i've never used them but of course you can use that to control if it works for you whatever works try it and control your pests because otherwise they can actually uh, take over, take control of your plants. And I'm going to stop here and show you some other ones that has been devastated so you know what they can do to some of these beautiful plants. See you shortly. Here I am back again uh, talking about, remember I said I, I've got few that has been devastated by the um, uh, caterpillar. So here is one of these plants that has literally been eaten by these buggers while I was away for a week. Underneath there will be nice green little very tiny caterpillars and I would need to spray them. And they also eat the flowers. See how, you know, that it really um, makes you really sad when they start munching away these beautiful flowers. So. And I really like to see these beautiful flowers not eaten by the um, so-called caterpillars. And they are little buggers actually. And here is another one that nearly um, got eaten by the caterpillars again. They seems to love underneath the leaves. And um, I can't see any... Of course, without my glasses, it's very hard to see where they are. So, um, And then here's another one that, um, that they were in flower, but I can't really see anything in flower except these two, which has been really chewed by them. And look at the leaves, you know. So I can see heaps of caterpillars in just a, but I only bought three to show you. But as you can see, I've got hundreds of um, this is what they look like. It's very hard to see them. And I've got hundreds to actually spray and eradicate these buggers. So anyway, um, this is what I wanted to share with you. What do you do when you get caterpillars, insects like that? And as I said, always um, use organic. If organic matter doesn't um, any good to you like eco oil or neem oil or anything like that sometimes it's very hard using organic matter to control them because they the strength is not there and 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 they um sometimes the, the there's no impact for a few days and and for me i like that to disappear more or less straight away there's a plane flying there i'm sorry about the noise um i must say goodbye and see you again take care bye bye